Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, I, I often go back and I tell you about, you know, when I was a kid and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I know that maybe that can become old news. But things have changed so much in the world all around us in every aspect of our life. And they've changed so much in fishing. When I was a kid, it was, it was so simple. You, most people use live bait of some kind. And it wasn't so much as taking the lure or the bait to the fish as it was having the fish find the bait. But there are so many other aspects of it. At that time, you fished to bring the fish home and to eat them. And, you know, I, I, I remember the different ways of cooking fish and how important that is. And I think it's important to talk about it now still because I think there's a lot of people that would like to, to experience what fish would be like eating them. You know, we've, we've gone so much to catch and release and preserving our fishery, and we have to because it's come so far since when I, there, there's lures and graphs and, and motors and everything that makes fishing so much more powerful and and it makes us more stronger than the fish. Basically, I mean, th in some cases, they, it seems like they don't have a chance. But one of the things I've been thinking about is if you catch your fish, then how? Not only how are you going to prepare them, but it's important how you're going to preserve them so that when you get ready to 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 take them home and eat them, that that they haven't spoiled. And I think one of the most important things that you can do, number one, if you're gonna if you're gonna keep your fish, is to clean them immediately, if you can, on the spot, to take their insides out. So because that's the part that's really gonna spoil. Second, you wanna keep them cold. This time of the year, ice fishing, that's not a big deal. But in the summertime, it really is. So if you're able to have an ice chest where you fish, if, you're, if you go someplace and fish along the shore and just sit there, put a chair up, it's important to have an ice chest with either, you know, fake ice or with ice in there to be able to, when you put your fish in there, that's going to keep the temperature low and they're not going to deteriorate. If you're, if you're going along, along a stream and wading, when I was a kid, we had creels that we'd put the fish in. But I think knowing what we know now, it's even more important that if, if you do have a creel or, or some kind of fish basket, that you have something in there to keep the fish moist and cold. And, you know, I know this sounds like, boy, what's he talking about this now? We, we frown against keeping fish. But a lot of people really like to. And if you want to have them in their splendor, if you want to enjoy the wonderful flavors, those fish got to be fresh. Remember, if a fish is good, it isn't going to smell like a fish. There's not going to be any odor. When fish start smelling fishy, they're starting to spoil. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.